Hi hey guys, <clears throat> Leslie here again, just doing uh, another video. Um, two seconds. So uh, the first point I want to make, uh, perception is reality. It's true the way you interpret and understand the world directly affects your beliefs and the way the way you live your life. Perception creates bias as much as it creates understanding. It creates fear as much as it creates curiosity. Do you want reality to narrow or vast? Uh, will the bliss the ignorance provides insufficient or do you, you need more? The truth is more people want more, even if it's subconscious level. Humans tend to trail blaze the cradle to the grave. Our society impresses the importance of education, learning and discovering what, what we do, but still it's increasingly hard to understand what we don't. So understand what do you learn and to know what you don't know. Start by asking yourself, what we don't know and what we want to learn more about. Most importantly, understand that it's okay to be wrong in error that is growth. Number two, everything is temporary. Your good times are temporary and your bad times are temporary. So when you're up, enjoy it, bask in it and, and be grateful for it. When you're down, no, you'll get through it, and that's not the end, just a rough patch. Life is full of twists and turns, ups and downs, and surprises. We forget that it's about a journey, not a destination. There's lesson in everything, guys. I think it's hard for a lot of people, especially young people, to appreciate life recognizing the full worth of our hardships and the blunders and key appreciating the journey it's just important to stay stay humble and grateful for all the joys life brings you everything is happening so make the most of it out of it number three uh, the importance of being present if you're if you're depressed you're living in the past if you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're in peace, you're living in the present. More often than not, we tend to worry about what's, what's to come and dwell on that that already happened. Well, it's crucial to, to care and consider the future. Be careful not to let hinder your presence. Moments turn into memories. Enjoy the moment while you have it. It usually takes a lifetime piled up worries for a person to realize worrying isn't productive. Living in the past is equally unproductive. There are definitely benefits to being able to reflect, being able to reflect. It usually takes a lifetime of pile up worries. Life, there's definitely benefit of being to reflect on yourself and the past. Pain it senses what you've been through and how that makes you feel matters. It takes a lot of emotional energy to grieve, to progress and overcome. The balance of being able to take time to reflect and prioritize your future after spending the majority of your day in the presence and being valuable in life changing. Number four, do what you love, love what you do. So guys, the reason why we're doing what we're doing is we love to do what we do, love to, sorry, we do what we love, love what we do. So that's the reason why we're, we're in this business uh, about uh, network marketing, connecting with people, uh, seeing if they, if they have they need an extra income. So that's where, that's what we're all about, guys. So yeah, there's a huge, uh, near university in London said that these words, I was grateful to walk in the past, but almost every day remind myself of the importance of, of loving, 
loving your career and loving what you do. Your work is con constantly large aspect to your life. If you dedicate yourself, if you if you aren't happy in your career and happiness, you will seep into into all our all our aspects of your life. And while nothing is perfect, it's important to work on yourself. Position yourself to reach the goals and satisfy your desires. Most importantly, invest in yourself. So whenever we say invest in yourself, guys, we, we mean for you, invest in yourself, uh, do uh, personal development uh, every day. Mindset is the key. Uh, so that's what we uh, recommend, guys. And yeah, invest in yourself. You can listen to Lil Brown, Jim Rohn. Uh, there's a whole, 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 whole lot out there. Uh, Bob, Bob Proctor. Yeah, any of them guys are, are great guys to listen to to get your mindset mindset right. This goes for your non working life. So, what, what habits and hobbies do you want to stop? Which one do you want to develop? It's important to conscious of type of people and what you're feeding yourself success isn't one triumph moment success is a series of moments and choices leading up to bigger moments if you're only one person you can't get in the way of living doing everything what you love bob dylan said it's best when he said what money a man is success if you get up in the morning and goes to bed at night and between does what he wants to do and the last one, guys, being happy takes work. So, guys, networking isn't just relaxing and hopefully the money flows in. We have to work. We have to talk to people daily. We have to give value to people and see if they have a need. So we can help them. So, yeah. So that's what uh, we have to work. We have to where we're in this organization where we're as a we're a team we help each other to build our business so yeah happiness being happy takes work the happiness people tend to be the ones who've worked and most on themselves being happy takes a lot of work it's just not work if not more be unhappy so choose wisely being not a victim and put the energy back into yourself sometimes it's hard to have a pull yourself up and push yourself forward so guys we have to push ourselves if we want to succeed in any business we're doing we have to push ourselves to the next level uh, and this uh, community we're doing uh, you rank there's different ranks where you can rank up to different level and different amount depends what you what your goal is and your lifetime is a series of developments on personal growth one of the worst things you can do for self-development is comparing yourself to other people. It's easy to get caught up with jealousy and wanting what our people have. Especially with the way we interact with social media, you have to remember that people tend to show only their best parts, their lives, those platform. It's not fair on yourself when you see that and think, I want to do that, I want to look like that. Not only does this distract you from being appreci appreciative of what you do in your life, it doesn't provide any productive put input yourself. Most often your perception of someone's life, and even it doesn't focus on yourself. It's a journey and your path that you should be concerned with. Being happy takes practice. Whether you've been learning to let go your ego or informing more self-loving habits. Self-loving habits, sorry, so the human with whether you're letting you go work hard and you can make it for your best life. So, guys, that's just a few few marks, uh, a few pointers. If anybody's uh, what sees value from this, just subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel and Guys, uh, what we've got here, what we've got here, is amazing. Uh, what we're doing here as a team, we've got amazing, uh, amazing platform where we can earn quite a lot of money. 
But if anybody wants to earn five hundred to thousand dollars a month, it's very doable. So I keep telling these guys, all you have to do is connect with 25 people a day, follow the formula that we have, uh, connect 25 people a day, and uh, add 10 new friends daily. Uh, just, uh, just show people that you can help them succeed. And yeah, so I'll just leave it with you guys. If anybody wants uh, any questions, just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave me a comment, and I'll get back to you. Okay, hope to hear from you soon. Take care. On to the next video. Bye-bye.